and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to take the Lyric Graffiti e-bike for a ride and we're going to talk about things that I would not swap on this bike I wouldn't trade out three things that stand out to me and I'm going to talk about that first I want to show you get a good look at the dash here of the bike because I don't know if anybody's really had a good look at it This is what it looks like. And this bar tends to get in the way to see the battery, uh, how much battery is left. And, and uh, so I either have to look forward or look, come back and look back to see how much voltage. You can see right there what I've got. Whoops, get in too close what I've got there so let's hop on and go for a ride let me get this camera set here on the chest mount it was a cool morning but this afternoon has warmed up I'm not exactly sure what the temperature is but we're probably in the mid 40s but it was in the mid 20s this morning so it's definitely warmed up. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's head for a ride. It might even be warmer than that. It might be closer to 50. I don't even have gloves on at the moment. So what I want to talk about is three things that I would definitely would not change on this bike. And I don't think anybody really would do it either. But I mean, there may be a few out there that say, yeah, you know, I got to have this one or that one. But uh, so a few of the things, three things that stand out to me that I, I definitely don't think you need to change. Of course, this is my opinion, but one of them is the headlight i definitely think this is about as good a headlight as you're going to get the only way you're going to get more light than this one is if you have multiple lights i suppose but uh i'm not sure why you would need that because this uh this headlight puts out quite the quite the light and if you uh haven't seen it yet I did a video recently on the headlight and and the quality of the headlight and how good it performed so you might want to check that out it's just a few videos back giving uh, the headlight a test in the nighttime and uh, it, it uh, passed with flying colors it was awesome The other thing that I wouldn't swap out would be would be the seat. This seat is very very comfortable. Um, the only way I, I suppose I could see somebody wanting to swap out the seat would be. First of all, if they're a taller rider, I'm saying taller compared, I'm only, I'm five foot nine. So I'm saying if you're six foot plus, if you're, if you're much past six feet, you might want a seat that doesn't have the little lip on it, you know, for the passenger rider. I kind of like it for me because it, I know exactly how far to sit back. I sit right back to where that little uh, hump or whatever you want to call it is and that's perfect for me but I could see some people maybe wanting to have a more flat seat 
So in that case, yes, I could see a swap out. But other than that, I think your seat, most people are going to really like this seat. It's comfortable. It's, uh, to be honest, it's the best seat I've seen on a, uh, a bike so far. So uh, I really like it. But uh, I'm going to have to stop for a minute. Something is, uh, I'm hearing a little rubbing noise and I think it might be the rear fender. Just a second here. I think the fender's a little bit over to one side. Let's try that. <clears throat> so that's the seat. Um, I wouldn't swap the seat out. But like I say, that might be something that I could see somebody possibly wanting to do, but gee, it'd be a shame to uh, get rid of this seat uh, in my opinion but so that's two things that I would uh, not be swapping out for sure and the third thing that I wouldn't trade out is the handlebars I wouldn't trade these handlebars out um, for any other. Uh, these are the BMX style handlebars and I'll, I absolutely love the positioning with the handlebars and this seat. Uh, I think that's why I'm finding this to be a real joy to ride or one of the reasons. But I mean, I say it every time I ride this, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to ride this bike. Um, it's, um, I would say that as good as the Grizzly is, I just love the, uh, the way this bike handles. Um, I'm gonna have to do a few more things and more testing. If I have one concern so far, and I haven't really done a real test I'm gonna make sure batteries are full and all is I still want to do the hill test that's the one like I did recently a, a speed test if you haven't seen that one go back a few videos and, and check my uh, speed test on this bike I'm gonna do another speed test in the future because when I played it back I did notice that the battery looked to be really low and I don't know if that was uh, what the, why that was because I I'm pretty sure I had a fully charged battery uh, When I left uh, both batteries, I should say I'm running two batteries and uh, Dog wanting to chase me there, so I, I don't know why the battery looks so low and on the uh, On the meter here, but uh, it did and even now looks like we're down Boy, it doesn't take long. I start out with a full battery. It goes uh, 52.4 volts. So, anyway, uh, so I want to give that another try. And the hill, hill climbing. That's the one that I am hoping it does a little better than the uh, recent video here I did where I got to a hill. Not, you know, I just out for a random ride roaming the streets. And I come up into a hill there, and uh, the bike couldn't take the hill, but it was a pretty good hill. I got to say, it was a, it was steep, and uh, so uh, I'd like to tackle that one more time in the future here. But I'm going to wait for both the speed and the hill climb tests again till I uh, until it warms up a little bit, because some people are saying, well, maybe it's because of the colder weather and such, but. We'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll, there's lots of time to do another uh, test on that. And so uh, I'm just waiting a little bit longer here for a little warmer temperature. I mean, 
we've been below normal here, our temperatures and all, but um, I don't think, personally, I don't think that should make that much of a difference, but I guess it did. But those, anyway, those are the three things. These handlebars I really like, as I was saying, I like the positioning of the handlebars on this bike and I like the positioning of the seat. So it gives me a perfect ride, in my opinion. I just love it. Uh, so anyway, I'm gushing over this bike. So, by the way, on this ride, I have been riding in off-road mode. Uh, so there's two other things that I want to mention too that are kind of honorable mentions that I should throw in there as well that I wouldn't want to be changing out. And one of them is these hand grips right here. These hand grips are nice. They're, they're, I've got no gloves on at the moment, so they're nice and grippy. And they should be, if they're called hand grips, they should be grippy. And they're not too big around, so you can get your hand, even if you have smaller hands, you can get your hands around them without a problem and um, um, so you have good control of your bike you know so and they look great I mean I love the look of them too so I wouldn't swap those out and the other thing and this is the one that I hear uh, I'm hearing most common now for people that are that have this bike that are gonna swap out for sure um, is the pedals and personally I like the pedals, but their problem is, and it's understandable, they want the color to match all the other reds on the bike, and the pedals are a little more of a brighter red, like an almost like an orange color, so they're different, but uh, for me personally, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I kind of like these pedals, they're solid. They, uh, my foot isn't slipping off of them. I personally am not going to swap them out, but I can see the point where, I mean, I would like it to be uh, the same color as this myself, but it's not to the point where I'm going to go looking for uh, other pedals. I mean, there's other things I'd rather have than changing out the pedals. I do wish they would have put a horn on here. I don't believe there's a horn or bell, at least I haven't seen one. And a uh, horn would have been good. Um, so anyway, that's some of the things on this bike that I most definitely would not swap. I wouldn't trade out the headlight, I wouldn't trade out the seat, and I wouldn't trade out the handlebars. And like I say, I wouldn't even trade out the hand grips or the pedals so those are some of the more common things that people may swap out or, or would like to swap out on an electric bike or on a bike so anyway that's going to do it for this video and let's get to this intersection here So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. Hit that subscribe button and join our subscribers that have already joined on the channel. And we thank each and every one. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you'd like to purchase the bike, I do have a link in the description. If you want to hit that link and then put use the uh, use the uh, discount code as we get to another stop sign here. Uh, Oregon e biker mark. That's all one word, and that will get you $100 off of the bike. And I should tell you the current price of the bike 
is running at $30.99 for the one battery setup. And if you want the dual battery setup, it's running at $35.99. So uh, then you'll get the $100 off, which would make it $29.99 for the single battery and $34.99 for the dual battery. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.